Yeah. I'm Maureen O'Leary. I'm a professor of anatomical sciences at Stony Brook University, and I am the leader of the, uh, three expeditions to northern Mali in the Sahara Desert, where we discovered a range of very interesting and significant fossils. This information is being synthesized in a bulletin of the American Museum of Natural History that's about to appear and has reconstructions of all of the fossils, including how we think they looked in life. Yeah, the Sahara so. Desert is the world's largest hot desert. However, that part of the world was once underwater with extensive nearshore marine life, including elephant relatives, crocodiles, turtles, giant sea snakes, giant catfish. And our expedition in Mali uncovered many of these fossils. Some of our key discoveries are this fossil, which is a crocodile morph, a relative of living crocodiles, and was discovered in 1999. It's an extremely complete skull. It's been the subject of several research papers. In 2003, we discovered a very rich locality of fossil turtles and other relatives, including complete shells, and excavated that along with this skull. Recently, in preparing this synthetic monograph, we found that we have some of the largest catfish that ever lived, and bones from their um, skeleton, as well as new fossil mammals that we had not noticed in our collection before that document early evolution of elephants. And the research that we've done was supported by the National Science Foundation, the National Geographic Society, and the Leakey Foundation. The areas that we've looked at could sponsor research for many years to come, particularly the rocks that yielded this turtle and that yielded these fossil mammals. These rocks are very extensive in northern Mali. They're well exposed and are full of fossils that could be excavated by teams to come who can build on the work that we've done already, including naming some of the formations by our geologist, Dr. Eric Roberts, has named and mapped some of these formations for the first time, even though they've been known for well over a century. So now that these rocks have been explained and given a context, many other expeditions could return there to find more of and better versions of these fossils, including complete skulls like this crocodile relative and also complete skulls of animals like these turtles.